Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is video editorial for the problem really big number taken from educational round 23 and problem C it was. So the problem statement is quite simple. You are given n and you have to find all the really big numbers up to n. Now how does really big number is defined? That you can understand with an example. So you will be given n and you will be given s also. So n is equal to 12 in this case and s is equal to 9. So till 12, you can find three really big numbers, which are 10, 11, and 12. So all of the numbers are uh, such that the number minus sum of its digit is greater than or equals to s. Those numbers are defined as really big numbers. So for example, 10, 10 minus sum of its digit, which is 1, 10 minus 1 is greater than or equals to 9. And s will be given in the input itself. Okay. So clearly 10 minus 1 is greater than or equals to s. 11 minus 2 is greater than or equals to s. And 12 minus 3 is greater than or equals to s. So 10, 11, and 12, all of those are really big number. So again, you'll be given n and you'll be given s and you have to find all the really big numbers till n. Now, as you already know that all the time I try to give you hints so that you can come up with a solution yourself. So here's this hint yourself. Now you have to prove, I mean, if you could prove this, then maybe you'll be able to come up with a solution yourself. So try to prove that if X is a really big number, then X plus one is also a really big number. Okay, try to prove this. And if you are able to prove this, then hopefully you'll be able to come up with a solution yourself and even if you are not able to come up with a solution yourself you will be understand you'll be able to understand the solution that i'm going to tell you pretty easily so go ahead and try to prove this that uh, if x is a really big number then x plus 1 is also a really big number okay and now ever felt trapped in something that doesn't align with you but you still got to do it on a daily basis for example your job does it cost you your focus opportunities productivity and happiness if you nod in your head, you are surely not alone. If you are finding it difficult to juggle between your job and your personal life, it's a sign of being trapped in a job that you no longer enjoy. What can you do? Well, what do you do when you don't like a movie or a song or a stand-up comedian? You grab the remote and change it, right? So why don't you do the same with your company? Grab the opportunity with Relevel by an academy and take the hiring ball in your core. Attempt the Relevel test free of cost. Prove your worth, secure your interview opportunity with the top companies in India like Cred, Grow, Upgrade, Misho, Koo, Yellow.ai and many more. There is no degree requirement for this. For non-tech jobs, you will get minimum 4 LPA and for tech jobs, you will get at least 6 LPA job. Okay, and experienced candidate will get up to 50% hike. Wondering what is special about re-level tests compared to other recruitment processes? Well, with Relevel, you are skipping the competition for jobs in the most sought-after companies, sparing yourself innumerable rejection and almost every other hurdle between you and your dream job. Still unsure about taking Relevel test? Well, find all the people who took their Relevel test with their Relevel achievers Twitter handle and see for yourself. So let me show you how you can book a free slot for Relevel test. So click in the link provided in the description of the video and click Get Hired. Select the type of job you want to do, for example, backend development. Click select and then book your free slot. Select the tech stack. Suppose I want to work with Python. Continue and then select the date. So I'm going with 30 October and next. After that, okay. Uh, of course, if you are filling this for the first time, you have to fill in some uh, details, extra details. Okay. So fill that and then uh, enter all of the important details and then save and here you go your slot is booked go ahead and book your slots today now let's head back to our lecture so let's continue with the solution the proof that i'm going to talk here is not theoretical proof okay so uh so since x is a really big number, that means x minus digit sum of x is greater than or equals to s, right? And we have to prove that x plus 1 minus digit sum of x plus 1 is greater than or equals to s also, okay? Then only x plus 1 is a really big number, right? This is given, we have to prove this fact. Now, important thing is that digit sum of x plus 1 is less than or equals to digit sum of x plus 1. That means uh, if you increment a number x by 1, then digit sum uh, can increment can be incremented only by 1. That means it only increases at max by 1. 
so digit sum of x plus 1 will be at max as uh, as large as digit sum of x plus 1 okay it won't go beyond that now it will be better understood with an example so here it is so see there can be two cases either the last digit is 9 or the last digit is not 9 so let's take an example of when the last digit is not 9 so in that case if you see what will happen is that digit sum of this is certain number let's say p right and digit sum of this will be p plus 1 only okay so you can clearly see the digit sum of x plus 1 cannot go beyond uh, digit sum of x plus 1 right for this case at least that is clearly true right and in this case you see the digit sum is actually smaller than digit sum of x plus 1 also why you see when you add 1 to these kind of number where the last digit is actually 9 that will be converted to 0 and this will keep on happening till uh, you re ye, uh, till uh, all of the 9s which are directly connected to the last 9 so basically all of the last 9s all of the suffix which are equal to 9 they will be converted to 0 right and only the last digit after that will be incremented by 1 so clearly we are losing a lot of digit sums right so clearly the digit sum of x plus 1 if the large, last digit was 9 will be smaller than the digit sum of x plus 1 right so basically the digit sum of x plus 1 will be less than or equal to digit sum of x plus 1 right so here you see in this expression the digit sum of x plus 1 can be at max digit sum of x plus 1 right now this plus one can cancel out this uh, plus one and we will be left on the left hand side of this inequality by d, uh, x minus d sum of x right which is again greater than equals to s so clearly this inequality holds that means if x is a really big number then x plus one is also a really big number right so basically in a range from uh, from one to n if l let me just explain this with this slide so how you can find the solution is this find the minimum number which is really big number okay and let let this number be l then all the number in the range l to n are really big numbers right because if l is the really big number then l plus 1 will also be a really big number if l plus 1 is a really big number then l plus 2 l plus 3 l plus 4 l dash 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 till n all of them will be really big numbers so basically to find the solution that how many really big numbers are there from 1 to n all you have to do is find the smallest really big number in the range 1 to n and if you find it let's call it l then all the numbers in the range l to n are actually really big number and your solution will be n minus l plus 1 right as simple as that now the question is how you can find really big number efficiently basically the smallest really big number in 1 to n efficiently for a given s of course s can change okay and if s changes the really big number with the lowest really big number can also change so how to find the really big number okay that is the question so the answer is of course using binary search and how let me show you that also so you see uh, initialize l is equals to 1 r is equals to n we are going to use binary search of course so we have l and r so each time when you evaluate n just check whether mid or uh, sorry each time when you evaluate mid just check whether mid is a really big number or not if mid is a really big number that means uh, mid is actually a candidate to be the lowest uh, lowest mm, really big number right this can be the lowest uh really big number we are not sure but this can be so what you can do you can minimize the result result is equals to minimum of result comma mid and what you can do you can set r is equals to mid minus one okay because uh you already found that mid mid is actually the uh one of the really big number that means mid plus one till r all of them are going to be really big number also and our task is to find the minimum one so instead of going ahead of course we need to reduce our range to mid minus one right as simple as that otherwise if uh, clearly mid is not the really big number then where can you find the really big number well you can find it from mid plus one till the r right and that's why I just set your l to be mid plus one this will uh, just to explain this with an example let's see l and r to be one and twelve right l is equal to 1 r is equal to n and 6 will be uh, l plus r divided by 2 which is 6 is 6 a really big number the answer is no 6 is not a really big number because uh, 6 minus 6 is 0 and 0 is not greater than equals to s so 6 is not a really big number if 6 is not a really big number can 5 4 3 2 1 be the answer is no right 
because if uh, if any of those number are really big number then from that number till 6 all of those will be really big number also and that's why if mid is not the really big number then all the integers from 1 to mid uh, cannot be really big number also so in that case what you will do l is equal to mid plus 1 now you will increase your range okay so l becomes 7 and now my new range is 7 to 12 okay so 7 plus 12 is 19 divided by 2 is 9 so new mid is 9 is mid a really big number the answer is no so again l is equals to mid plus 1 which is 10 so 10 and 12 mid will be 11 is mid a really big number so answer is 11 minus 2 11 minus 2 is 9 9 is greater than equals to s so yes 11 is a really big number so what you will do result is equals to minimum of result comma mid so result will become 11 you can initialize result with infinity okay Infinity means a really big number like 10 to the power 9 plus 7 or something or int max. Okay. So since uh, mid was the really big number, so I initialize uh, result is equals to minimum of result comma mid, which is 11. So result will become 11. See, 11 is a candidate of really big number, but we know that 11 is not the minimum really big number because the minimum really big number in range 1 to 12 is actually 10, right? So that's why we are uh, minimizing result. So result becomes 11. Now, if that happens, r is equals to mid minus 1 mid was 11 so r would become 10 in the in the next iteration mid becomes 10 is 10 a really big number the answer is yes so again you will minimize result so result will become 10 and now what will happen r is equals to mid minus 1 so r would become 9 sorry i had to make this 9 i made this 9 uh, that is a mistake okay so this should have been 9 because r is equals to mid minus 1 so r would have become 9 uh, my mistake okay so since r is less than l we will stop here okay and uh, we'll stop where result is equals to 10 so you have found the minimum uh really big number and that was our task right in log n time now that you know all about this that how to proceed you can actually find out the really big number i mean the total number of really big number from one to n yourself right so all you have to do since you have found the lowest really big number which is result the number of really big number from 1 to n are actually n minus result plus 1 right as simple as that you can utilize that or uh, the way i've solved this problem you can solve it that way so i'm only reading n and s and uh, calling the function this get me answer which is utilizing binary search to find the solution let me increase the find, font size a little bit so answer i'm uh, i'm initializing with zero why why have i not initialized result with infinity because actually i'm not finding here the minimum uh uh what we say win minimum really big number instead whenever i'm finding a number which is actually which can be my uh really big uh smallest really big number what i'll do i'll simply calculate the total number of results if this is my really big number minimum really big number if 11 is my really uh minimum really big number then how many total numbers are there which can be uh which are my really big numbers well that is n minus result plus one right and that's exactly what i'm doing here so if mid is a really big number i mean mid is the really big number that means this is a candidate of the smallest really big number and if that really is the smallest really big number then the total number of solution will be n minus mid plus one right so i'm directly initializing the answer here i'm not just finding the smallest i am actually calculating result otherwise if you are calculating uh, this the smallest really big number then in the case finally when you come out of this while loop you will actually return n minus answer plus one right instead of doing that i'm directly calculating result here okay and if mid is my uh really big number then h is equals to mid minus one right h is equals to mid minus one otherwise l is equals to mid plus one as simple as that and uh this sum is a function which will return digit sum of a given integer okay as simple as that so this is how you apply binary search and solve this problem okay so if you have any doubt or any binary search problem that you feel is interesting that we can solve so uh just uh you can suggest me in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you